Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Krups Essential Brewer 12 Cup Programmable Coffee Maker. So this coffee maker looks really nice. Now the display is nice and steady. That's just the video kind of making it do that. Okay, so let's take a look. We've got a glass carafe. It's got a mixing tube that's going to send the coffee down and help mix it up. We've got a warming plate. Now up top, this is where you're going to put the coffee and the water. Water is going to go back here. Here's your brew head. It does come with a reusable filter. Now that's kind of like a plastic filter there. You can also put a number uh, 8 to 12 cup paper filter in there, basket style. Now you don't want to put both of these in at the same time, so it's either or. It's got a nice filter basket, nice and deep. Again, there's where the water is going to go. We've got a window on the side to let us know how much water we've put in. Okay, so let's take a look at the display and the, and the buttons. So we do have a strength selector. Now it's a little tricky. You're going to press the strength selector. There's a coffee bean and you're going to walk it across with the program button. So press it. It's going to flash. That's mild. Two coffee beans is medium. Three coffee beans is bold. And we also have small batch. So if you're only going to brew one to four cups, do a small batch. And then you can just cycle through it again. Now once it stops flashing, it will memorize it. Now we can start and stop the brewer right here with the start stop switch. We can program this to come on automatically in the morning. And we can also set the time. Hold the hour meter for about four seconds. The time will start flashing, then you can set the time. Okay, so you're gonna add one tablespoon of coffee for every cup you're gonna brew. I'm gonna do the full 12 cups, so I'm gonna put 12 tablespoons in. Okay, so there's all the coffee in. Now we're gonna put our water in. Now keep in mind, whatever amount of water you put back here, that's what it will brew each time you press the brew button. Even if you got it on the small batch, if you put the full 12 cups in here, it'll brew the full 12 cups. So if you only want six cups, put, fill it up to the six mark and put six tablespoons in. Okay, so with the craft, they give us two lines. One's for water, and this is how much coffee you're gonna end up. So you do put more water in than coffee because you do lose some to steam. Okay, so let's pour the water in. There's a nice big opening. The craft pour is really nice. I do like that feature about it. Okay, put your craft back, lower this, make sure you snap it closed, and just simply press the start button. There's the window on the side to let us know how much water we've added. So I'm gonna time it and we'll do a taste test. Okay, so we're at the five and a half minute mark. We're at the four cup mark. Let's just take a sneak peek, see how it's brewing. Okay, so I'm consistently seeing about 185 coming out the brew head. And the coffee coming out the bottom is about 176 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so almost at the 13 minute mark, it's finishing up. We're at the 12 cup mark. Let's pour ourselves a cup of coffee. Be careful, it pours really fast. Now it does beep at you when it's done, but you can turn those beeps off. Okay, so we end up with about 160 degree cup of coffee. Now the coffee I've been drinking out of here, it does taste pretty good. And then the display does change to a freshness timer. So it's gonna count up and let you know how much um, it, coffee's been sitting there. Here's what the coffee looks like after it's been brewed. Okay, so this coffee maker does retail for $72. It's only 900 watts. You know, typical coffee makers are over a thousand watts. This one did brew a little bit slower because of that. Okay, so let's turn the beeps off. You're gonna hold, you're gonna press the program and the strength button and hold them down. There'll be a little symbol that comes on that says it's not gonna sound anymore and then to reverse it if you want it to beep. Let's set the auto program time. So press this, that clock's gonna change. Now set the hour that you want this to start in the morning. 6.05 a.m. Make sure you got it on the a.m. And then it'll stop flashing and then that light will be on and it'll say program. So if you go to bed at night, make sure your craft is empty. You got water in the back, coffee up there. This will start at that time. If you want to cancel it in the morning, just come up or at night and say you're going to sleep in. Press that button one time, it cancels it. The next day, say you want to check it real quick. Yep, 605, let it stop flashing and it'll program it. We can also tell how long it keeps the warming plate on. So we're going to press and hold the start button. Okay, two hours is the default. I can go all the way up to four or zero, and I can do 15 minute increments between zero and four hours. Or it looks like I can go even 445, all the way up to 445. Let it stop and it will memorize it. 
that's how long the warming plate will stay on after it's done brewing. And then it will shut off automatically after that time. So yeah, you can see the water did get pretty high up in the filter basket, but it did not overflow it. Let's go over size. So left to right, you're looking at seven and a half. It's a very tall coffee maker, 22, almost 23 inches tall. It will not fit under a kitchen cabinet. The cord is two prong and it's 30 inches long. I will put a link to this in the show description notes. Underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.